Hello, hello, Eric the SEO guy here. How are you guys doing today? Hold on really quick, let me just share this stream on my personal page. All right, guys. Thank you guys for seeing me today. I got here, Wix blog here. It looks like they put together um, the best ways to promote a, uh, promote a new website for free. This was the number one ranking search term for how to promote a new website, which gets searched 320 times per month at a cost of $5.83 a click. Wix here is in that number one position, or actually, looks like they're actually in the number fourth position, but Google likes their answer so much or the format of their content that they went ahead and featured this answer which you can't actually even pay to be here. You have to have the best answer. Basically, Google's looking for a certain format for this. They're looking for like, oh, the best ways. Okay, here's one way, two ways, three ways, four ways. And usually those ways are backed up with some kind of form of content, like solidify your SEO. So they can easily pull from this list or they pull from these headings right here. And then there's usually some form of content backing up each one of those headings. There's one heading, there's two headings. So really they're just putting a list of ways. List posts are the one of the best ways you can rank. It's basically making a list of something, but this doesn't work for everybody's niche. So really you have to discover kind of what keywords your customers are targeting to even know what kind of posts you need to create. But I loved Wix's post here because they have some really effective ways. And honestly, a lot of these are kind of centered around SEO. And I can definitely tell they definitely know about SEO. They're definitely trying to get their own articles ranking so they can get people using their free website builders. It makes sense. They're saying how to promote a new website. They help people build new websites. So it makes sense that they would make a post like this. Then that helps them get their sites out there and people are like, what did you build your site with? Oh, Wix, you know? So it makes total sense, but let's take a look at this. So they're saying you just created your website, but you're getting no traffic, pretty much like every single person in the world. They create a website. They're like, I'm going to launch my website. It's going to be great. I'm going to get all these new customers, all this new uh, businesses, all these new leads. And then you do the website and then nothing happens at all. And you're like, well, what the heck? I just created this website. I did all this work. I did all this stuff. Something was supposed to happen. Well, it doesn't just happen automatically. Honestly, that's where SEO comes into play. Look, their first tip is solidify your website with SEO. This is coming from Wix blog. They're the free web, one of the, I think mo the most popular free website builder there is. So basically, if you're going to listen to anybody, Wix.com would best be a great person to listen to. Let me close this door. All right, guys. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so solidify your website with SEO. Totally makes sense why they put that there. SEO is one of the best ways you can get traffic in general. It's basically the act of optimizing for the search engines. It's search engine optimization. You're optimizing your website slash Google listing if you're a local business. But most of the time, website for e-commerce people, anybody who's doing like Shopify, uh, Wix.com, any kind of e-commerce stores in general, they're going to use a pinnacle cart. Um, they're, they could use SEO to optimize your pages and show up on Google when people are searching for those specific uh, products or services or when they're searching for information that answers questions about that product or service. That's actually where we win the most. A lot of people don't know it. People are searching for cost more than anything with almost every single product and service. I do a lot of um, local uh, search engine optimization for you know garage door repair people, AC repair guys, and a lot of times people are searching, how much does this cost? How much does garage door repair cost? So this is a super search phrase, garage door repair cost. Tons of people search this phrase every single month. It looks like, look, 1,900 times per month, this gets searched at a cost of $22.08 a click. That is huge. Wouldn't it be nice to like show up here organically without having to pay that $22.08 per click? Well, it's definitely possible because this is an image I created right here. <laughs> so it's definitely possible to rank for this term. This is one of my clients right here. And, uh, 
this is a national search thing. This brings them tons of traffic per month. This gets them tons of PPC dollars per month to where like they, if they ran AdSense on the site alone, they'd be coming up, you know, but they rank for this nationally. This helps them come up. So when people are searching local for garage door repair in general, they'll come up for that as well. But this is one of the search terms people search. This is what's called a sales funnel into your service page. They're going to click that because they want to know how much it costs. And then guess what? They're already on the site that does garage door repair in their area. Google knows how to line these things up. So this is just one great example of a form of content that no one would think to write about because they would think, oh no, write about garage door repair, garage door replacement, why you need it, why blah, blah, blah. No, people are not interested in that. They're interested in, they know they need garage door repair. Their garage door didn't open. They pushed the button and it was like, eh. And then it, it didn't do anything, you know, so they know they need repair. So you don't need to explain repair and what a repair is. It's fixing it, you know. They want to know how much it costs. Look, garage door replacement cost. Um, garage door bottom panel replacement. Opener repair cost. Uh, garage door repair cost broken spring. So this kind of shows you, too, what are the most common things? Oh, well, they have to get their garage door replaced. It must be a lot. Or they're just really interested in getting a customized garage door. They want a new one that matches the home. Maybe they're doing some home remodeling exterior. Um, garage door bottom panel replacement. Guess what that is? People running their car into the garage, the garage door panel and then they call the garage door people like, hey, can you just place one panel or two panels or three panels? But what people don't know is the price of one, uh, the price of two panels alone is basically the same as replacing your garage door. You know, so there's certain ways you can come at the content and kind of share more information once you, if you're the expert in this, you would know that information. And if you can answer these people's questions, the replacement cost, the bottom panel replacement, I would create different pages for every single one of these topics. I'd put all of these topics on one page and then I'd also create individual pages like here, read just about garage door opener repair costs, you know, cause there's going to be cost factors in there that, oh, if your opener is not working, well, what if your opener only needs this replacement? You know, there's different costs that go along with that and you wouldn't want to bog that whole one page down, you know, put all the details on there and just kind of give a gist on that bigger post. So it's like creating a list post to an extent that lists out all the garage door repair costs, but also goes in depth on, on that topic on a further page. But back to this topic here, solidify your website with SEO, absolutely important. It's one of the only ways you're going to get your website seen. It's basically putting the right titles, the right description behind your products and behind your uh, blog posts so people find them naturally. Like that's how, how else are they supposed to find them? And Google's going to naturally give you um, like a, a little bit of credit right out the gate because once you fetch your page, you know, they're like, hey, you're brand new, so we're not going to rank you that great, but they're going to toss your stuff around in the search engines. They're going to say, okay, how does it rank here? How does it rank here? Did it have a good click through rate? So they're going to play with it a little bit. So they're not, you're just not completely going unseen, but a lot of stuff, if you have a brand new website, SEO doesn't become really effective until about six months into it, unless you go in there and you really, I mean, start dropping some content. There's a tons of different cost questions maybe answered in your industry that you can go in and create individual blog posts for, which I will get more into as we go here. But basically, SEO or search engine optimization is basically putting text on your website with the right title and maybe an image too to represent whatever the stuff is about. But it's right writing an essay. How much does garage door repair cost? Answer that question with these different, you know, topics, uh, the panel replacement costs, you know, the opener repair costs, you know, you're just being thorough and including everything that would naturally be included in a garage door repair cost or what people could expect to pay. What are the most common repairs? You know, people are worried about these things. They, they, they hit their garage door and they're scared of how much it's going to cost. The first thing they do is jump on here, take a look. What if you were that person in that area that created that content? They found you and they're like, Hey, I'll just call this guy right here. He had the blog post that I found that tackled my issue. So that means they know what they're talking about and they're an expert in their industry. Not only do they have this page for garage door repair, but they have this whole post about how much it costs, how to do it yourself if you wanted to. You know, you're basically just tackling um, different topics from different intent. It's all about matching the customer's intent. What question are they worried about? Can you answer that question with content? If so, put that content there. Google will rank you. I've taken some number ones that I was like, what? 
My post was way shorter, but I just was better with the format of it. They didn't have maybe numbers for their steps or there was something they left off. They didn't have the full range. I had three costs and they only had one. I sourced Angie's List, Home Advisor, and someone else where they sourced no one. I've beaten out Home Advisor for different posts because they source no one. They only use data backed by their Home Advisor members. Well, what I'll do for my clients is I'll source Angie's List, Home Advisor, and Google can tell we've done the research because they know they're like, hey, this is a very powerful link they just mentioned with a very specific phrase next to it. I've actually taken featured results like the one you see here at the top with answers from other people's sites. So it'll say like, on track garage door says, according to A1 garage door, we've actually taken their results by using their answer. And sometimes I'll even do it as a direct quote. As long as you're, I think below 30%, of, of actual duplicate content, you can actually put people's quotes in there. Google likes that you do that. You're sourcing, you're being, you're being thorough. You're, you're showing where you cited this from. You know, Google can tell that. They are extreme, their algorithm is extremely intelligent. They know exactly what you're doing, what sources you're sourcing, what you're citing. They, they know a lot more than people give them credit for. Google is incredible. But yes, SEO, absolutely. I'm glad they had that as your number one because SEO, that's going to be the number one thing. Yeah, you can take advantage of email marketing. Starting a blog, guess what? SEO. Try guest blogging. Why do people guest blog? To get backlinks back to their blog posts for SEO. So really, this whole post, when I was looking at it, I was like, how the power of social media? Guess what social media is going to do? Send social media signals back to Google. Google knows how important social media is. They're even indexing Twitter results. So that tells you, you know, if they're indexing Twitter as an actual source, that shows you they know social media is big and they know to stay on top of that or they will die. That's what Google wants to do. They want to be the best and that's how they stay the best is always you know, updating their stuff, always taking notice of what's going on in the world and social media is huge right now. TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is almost becoming its own social media. People don't look at it like that, but go look at their actual timeline now. It's ex almost exactly like Facebook. You know, there, there's something going on there. Be on the lookout for LinkedIn. I learned that from Gary Vee. He was saying, hey, take a look at LinkedIn, take a look at TikTok, because both of those places are gonna be coming up very soon and absolutely can be used for business, especially LinkedIn. Um, harness the power of social media. Submit your site to online directories. Guess guess why you do that for link building. Guess what you know. So if I if I went right here, hold on, let me turn this off because I get charged every time. You gotta have credits to be able to use this bad boy. Matter of fact, if anybody doesn't know, this keywords everywhere. Can I point to it? Keywords everywhere, right up there. Keywords everywhere. If you want to know just instantly how many times things get searched, so you can literally type in anything. Let's type in. Um, how to build a website. Boom. Let's see how many times people search that per month. 18,100 times per month. The cost is 1372 because they know either people are trying to get their stuff ranking, you know, look, website builder expert, and they know you might run into problems. So if they could show up here, who knows, you might just end up having them build your website for you because we're building a website. It's easy, but not totally easy and to build it in an seo -able environment is even a little more challenging honestly if you are building a website i suggest building it on wordpress.com that's you're gonna have to get hosting you're gonna have to get a domain name through like godaddy you can get all three of those through godaddy but you would have to build the site in wordpress i mean that is a little bit more difficult but honestly how to build a words website in wordpress guess what i just finished that Right there, look, tons of people are searching that too. And guess what you're gonna find? Tons of guides on how to do that or videos on how to freaking do it. Super easy to do, best for SEO, WordPress by far. I know other people are gonna say, but I'm winning with WordPress. Prove to me that you killing me with your stuff and I'll believe you. <laughs> All right, so, so they're saying submit to online directories. That's basically link building, uh, like um, best link building methods watch i bet you that i bet you um submitting to online directories is absolutely gonna be in this same um the same kind of answer because that's what that is you know so, oh, let's get their little pop-ups out the way director all right or they'll call them a citations oh what do you know citation they're mentioning citations, which is directories. Basically, they're telling you to submit your site to online directories. 
And if you want to do that, well, best online directories to submit to. Everything is findable. Just keep Google searching. You know, people are searching all of this kind of said, look, Google My Business. That's the best. Google My Business. If you have a local business and you don't have a Google listing or Google My Business listing, oh my God, get it immediately. That is where uh, money is going to come from. The, the biggest three things, actually, I was uh, had a guy today at a post I did earlier. I was like, hey, you can't win them all, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't still shouldn't try. We had a guy come in today for a consultation. We actually couldn't help him. He was confused about how much kind of we charge per month, you know, and he wasn't really as comfortable with that. It was only um, the 550 per month, and that actually included a site build. He had no website whatsoever. He wanted us to build a website, host it, do the domain name, do the SSL certificate, which is absolutely required these days. And it was only like a one page website. And our, so our, our um, SEO costs, we were gonna get them for 450. And we were just gonna charge an additional 100 just monthly to keep the site always going. We're gonna be adding pages as we go. You know, it was kind of part of the SEO package, but we didn't wanna charge them too much up front. So we just charged them an initial cost because you got to be able to pay for hosting. You got to be able to pay for domain name, and you got to be able to pay for that SSL certificate. And even place like GoDaddy, they're going to charge you ninety nine a year for your SSL. So, but basically, we were able to just give this guy tips like, hey, create your Google listing, get some reviews on that bad boy, and get a couple of pictures on there. And I'm telling you, that thing will start getting out there by itself. Make sure you select the right category, though. If you select the wrong category for your business, like if you are a plumber and you select HVAC. I mean, what are you even doing with your life? But if anything, how to set up my Google listing. Boom, you'll get a thing just like this. Step one, do this. Step two, select the right category. If for a full list of categories, look here. And you'll be able to find yours. You know, a garage door person is a garage door supplier. A plumber is a plumber. You know, most uh, local people, they, they have it down. They'll have all your different selections in there so you can select your right category. But absolutely. Um, Google My Business will be the best. Bing would be the second best, no doubt. Yahoo, yeah, Yelp, yeah, but a lot of people hate Yelp because your reviews never stick there. But I learned the actual trick to get Yelp reviews to stick. Ting! Upload a picture first. Simple as that. Upload a picture. Don't even push five star on the review. Upload a picture. It's going to come back and say, hey, do you want to write a review to go along with this picture? Yes. Write that review, boom, submit that bad boy, it will stick. I've almost every single, 10 out of 10 that I've done so far by adding the picture first and then the review, stuck. Before then, I was maybe one for four to get them to stick because Yelp reviews never stick. I don't get it. It's like, how is it not sticking? But the way to get it to stick is to upload the picture first, then write your review, then go ahead and submit that boy. And plus having you know friends on there and stuff like that, that will definitely help. Yelp, they try to kind of, make sure you can't just create an account real quick and go drop a review on somebody and so people can come spam a bunch of reviews honestly like a lot of google my business does but this is the leader if you want local business google my business is the way to go but you'll be able to find a whole bunch of directories you can submit to but that's all for seo link building helps with seo honestly i think content is the overall game winner for seo though that garage door repair costs um, thing I showed you that had zero backlinks whatsoever. We took that with straight content, zero links. We were beating out people with like 2,000 links, uh, 4,200 links. You know, it was like Google knows content, they know structure, and they know what the best answer is. And they have to give new people a chance too. They can't just be like, always the same people, or there wouldn't be SEO. My job wouldn't be available. If they always kept the same people, my job wouldn't be available. There's a way to do it better. And sometimes you can even do it better with less content. I've seen that just honestly straight. Like I guarantee you there's guides that are way longer than what Wix has here, but they have the perfect layout. Not only they got their one through 10 right here. So Google can easily pull that into their little featured results section. Like we were showing you, like, see how they just, they, they pull all that right there. Okay, hold on. So how to build a website. Let's go back one more. How to promote a new website. Boom. So they've got all 10 here. So it makes it easy for Google to come in here and just pull this. And matter of fact, they can either pull those or they'll pull these headings. I've seen both happen. I've made posts where they didn't have these guys right here, and it still pulls the same way. Google knows how to pull this as long as they know your contents set up the right way and that's why they have real simple stuff going on here a heading then a paragraph a heading then a paragraph a heading this is so simple for google to understand and they know this is a list of 
10 effective ways to promote a website for free. It's in their title, ways to promote your website. And they always, anything that's how to is almost always gonna be like ways to, how to, ways to, because that would be the way to promote it. You know, it's not gonna say 10 how to promote your website. You know, it's gonna be 10 ways to. So ways post to answer a how to question, oh my God, they can win the game, especially if you give it a nice, easy structure to kind of look at. This gives a nice just overview for the person to just look at right away. So you don't have to be like one, and you're like, uh, two. You can just see it here all at once. And honestly, the thing I would add to this is to make these page jumps. So not only can you see this here, but Google, any if, you, if your stuff ranked anywhere, you would actually see page jumps in the actual meta description right here. We have tons of websites where literally it can be like jump to solidify your website with SEO. You know, if they had page jumps here, which is super easy to set up, set this up as a link, hashtag one and your heading right here, you would set this up in the background as H2 ID equals one. And that tells this page to, when someone clicks this link, jump to this ID. And basically Google can pick that up and they'll even list it in here and they'll be like, boop, jump to this, jump to that, depending on what the topic the person's, uh, uh, what keyword they search. Cause not everyone searches the same keyword. People are different. People are gonna search things differently. You know, not everyone's gonna come at it the same way. Like guaranteed if I pop this in, there's gonna be 20 different ways people search that exact same search term. Check this out. All right, look, promoting website. It's actually, that's the number one way. Look, 350 searches a month, promoting websites, how to promote a website, promote your website, promote website, how to promote website, promote your website, website separated, website together. <laughs> See, people don't know. They're just going in and typing stuff, but Google's knows to even if you're gonna, no matter which way, look at this, position number one, position number one. So no matter which way these people come at this, Google knows that this is the best um, result for all of these keywords. Look, let's find one they're not, ex look, how to promote your website, how to promote a website, promoting website. And see, that's just so short. Google's probably like, I don't know. There's no how to there. So the ways thing kind of doesn't, mean, but they still generally get the idea, you know? So look, they have a little bit less rank promote websites. So the fact that they added that S, you know, somebody's different, somebody else's post could rank for that because maybe they're telling you how to promote multiple websites at the same time or how to link them together, how to do something like that. So Google just looks for, okay, do you have this information on your site? Do all of these keywords make a difference? You can actually add tags and different things in this post that if something was kind of the same thing, look, how to advertise instead of promote, you know, but Google can still pretty much get the gist that they need to show that same result, how to advertise your website. And look, Wix still there. Same thing. They're just, you know, bolding out different keywords or whatever it is, but it's only because, you know, the person typed in the advertise word versus um, the how to promote. But look, this is still getting searched 110 times per month, $5.40 per click. You wouldn't want to leave this out, so you could add those as tags in your website, or you can be able to use that advertise word in your content. Like, let's see if they actually use that in here. Absolutely. See what I'm saying? So like they, they know to advertise or promote your website. Look, that tells me absolutely Wix knew what they were doing when they created this. They said advertise or promote. This is exact keyword. Look, promote your website. Let's go back to that Ahrefs. Control F that bad boy. Ting, ting, ting. Promote your website. Promote your website, promote your website. It's part of all those keywords. So Wix knew what they were doing and that's why they named it 10 Effective Ways to Promote Your Website for Free. And Google probably knows that advertise and promote are pretty much the same thing. Like I'm pretty sure if you put in promote and you put in synonym, that advertise would probably be one of those synonyms. Let's see, advert, oh, I'm not seeing that yet, let's see. Oh, surprising. All right, let's do this. Advertise. See, promote is a, a synonym of advertise. There it is. So Google knows. You don't have to match the exact right keyword. They literally only said advertise, what, one time? One time, you know? And Google knows that promote and advertise are basically the same thing. You know, I'm, I'm actually surprised that advertising wasn't a synonym of promote, but that's okay. Point still proven. Boop. Um, so 
Google knows. Yeah. But those, it could be a post all about promote and Google still knows advertise. You'll just get that automatically. But mentioning it is absolutely good. And knowing what keywords you're going after, that, that's why they were able to have that on here. Otherwise, he would say, when creating content to promote your website, focus on creating quality work. Why did he put advertise? Exactly. Because they knew what they were going off of. Look, community and social media manager by Blake Stimack. You know what you're doing, brother. You know, and that's how this ranks number one, dude. They're guaranteed getting a gang of traffic from this. And if anything, people are like, oh, look, a way to, you know, build my website for free. They got all this information on here. You know, they can go on here, get more value from this, stay on here, potentially click some of these ads, you know, to get them even more money. But basically, um, SEO is almost all this. Post on forums. So guess why you want to post on forums? Forums are good for link building reach out with outreach marketing well of course you know this is a way that you can actually reach out to other people um th but honestly i spend your time on seo uh, i used to try to do outreach type stuff or like cold calling people posting on facebook just all the time trying to constantly spam people sending messages um facebook to my family and friends uh, spamming them and i realized SEO got people to come to me like I literally didn't have to spam anyone literally people just come to me naturally now You know, I'll type in whatever it is. I'm looking for that kid I know now I know their intent the more you know your customers intent what you can easily find just start typing in keywords Like for people looking for SEO. They would be like how much? Um, they would be like the average cost of Monthly SEO, you know because they would know SEO is a monthly cost. So they're gonna be looking for that and I just created my post, so don't judge me yet, you know what I'm saying? But all these people are on here trying to rank for how much does SEO cost? Because guess what? Remember, cost is the sales funnel to the very next thing, which is actually get the service done. So you can see here, I'm not on the first, um, not on the first page. As a matter of fact, that's not even a good keyword. That's zero searches. Let's find, um, let's find a better, there, let's just do how much does SEO cost? There we go. That one should have searches. There we go. 880 searches per month. People are paying $6.67 to run ads for that bad boy. And let's see. I just created a post maybe a month or so ago, a month or two ago. But like I said, posts really take about six months to really get up there. But that doesn't mean you're not going to rank at all. Just not that great right away. You know, and I'm going against the top SEOers in my field. So let's see where we're at. This might not be the best. There we go. SEO pricing 2019. How much does SEO cost? So look, I'm on page four. So this is spot 33. You're like, oh, dang, I thought you were good at SEO, bro. This is, I'm doing this one for me. If you want to check check my results, check all my client stuff, you're going to be like, dang. Um, what's it called? So how much? So I just started this. You know, I did this post. What is August 26th? Uh, what is this month? October so yeah right yeah right about a little, a little less than two months ago a, a month and three weeks ago so I got a nice little post going here and I went further than these other people were because I was like all right let me show everybody the full like how much does local SEO cost with its own graph how much is uh, national SEO cost with its own cost you know that's just a picture I made you know with different little graphs on it and Google loves those like guaranteed if I hit the images section I bet you I see a couple of my images in there let's see it images let's see where we're at here there we go oh there's one boop there's two so they're coming my stuff's just so new Google's not gonna trust me over you know people that have been there for like a year you know when I've been there a month and three weeks so I'm under the same restrictions as my clients are you know you have to be able to gain page authority page it so you'll have domain authority you have domain authority no matter what that's the overall power of your website you know but your page authority starts at zero when you create a brand new poster page so you could assume that as soon as I drop this SEO cost post Google is like and I care because why you're like a little baby guy, you know, your your little SEO cost post on this brand new website. So not only that, it's a brand new website and a brand new post. So it's like, they're, you know, they're not giving me any love yet whatsoever, but that's okay because they're going to notice those different factors I got going there. My images actually rank higher than my post. So it's really giving me a chance to get in that image section as well. A lot of people are going to search that image section 
and uh, to be able to have your cost graphs and different stuff in there like that to be able to show up and even if it's just products and services um, those are gonna show up but look this is my site barely doing anything here this is such a new site um, but I was just trying to give you you know an example look this is actually getting clicks look three clicks for average SEO cost per month let's give that a search so people are searching that thing I typed in then just it looks oh, okay this one I must have typed it in different 20 searches per month so it looks like people are finding this one before just like I said people are searching content in different ways that's why I went in and did the cost per month one look now we're page two spot three remember the other one was page four spot something you know like whoa this is page two spot three that means I'm in 13th place that means I'm just right around the corner from being able to take this bad boy and something like this I bet you the image is a little higher you know I think well yeah boom right away you know what I'm saying because Google can pick this up they know what's going on here and I've titled my images properly look the file name of this image is gonna match what I'm going for how much does SEO cost average price you know and I put the price thing because I know people are searching price as well so look let's search this bad boy pop this bad boy in there and let's see look at this and look everything's going up because it's just it's it's got to make its way up it only goes up a little bit of time but look this one jumps six positions to get there and this is how much does SEO cost for small business this would actually line up for me perfectly like that's the exact term I want to come up for I've done SEO for local businesses probably more than anything that I've done so far um, so if I could rank for that term matter of fact it would almost be smart to not only have this one result but remember when I was saying create individual posts for everyone post is nice um, how much does SEO cost for small business I should absolutely have that as its own post so Google knows hey because remember they ranked number one why aren't they number one here but it's because this is all about small business look this guy even has that small business in his URL so you can't get so specific on one SEO cost post but that's why you create another one to specifically answer that question because look I'm gonna be back here but if I come back and I make a post that's specifically about SEO for small business Google's gonna give me a ton more credit because they're like hey he matched it up exactly so look they know I've said it here but it's really not as relevant because like rank pays mine is just basic SEO cost but I meant it to be that way because this is kind of like the overall landing page of everything but this will eventually link as well to that small business one like I'll like say this this one local local small business that's kind of what this is I'll create a post and it should be like read more about cost for um, SEO for local small business and then boom so this article will actually become more in depth and Google will be able to be like hey not only are they answering the question here but they have pages that go in depth about each one of these things that are people are interested in people are interested in local national how much they could expect it cost per month I don't know why they're doing SEO cost per hour I've never really heard of that but I found people listing cost per hour so I've done my due diligence rank pay WebFX they both mentions cost per hour so I really just reported what they said and guess what Google's eventually gonna rank this over them. mark my words um, how much does SEO cost for small business look I just have a quick little snip bit about it you know look from sharp notion states I didn't just call this out of my butt this is across the board this is what experts have said the national costs or the average costs were so I'm just reporting what I found um, same thing here you know and that's that's literally all I'm doing this post honestly it isn't that long I'd say what is this like 600 words maybe but you know the time went into creating these little cost graphs and honestly I just created those in Photoshop it wasn't anything crazy you know I played with these templates over time you know over like five years or something nothing big but um uh, but yeah these kind of posts freaking rank out of control and I could show you a gang but I don't want to have to get in here and blur out a bunch of names because I don't want to put all my clients out there like that because I would never have you being contacted by someone random trying to see if I do good work or not that's not cool you know so I'm not gonna put your name out there like that unless you've already given me permission you will see people that I talk about here and there and that's because they're definitely cool with us and uh, they definitely don't mind us sharing their information but most people I'm not gonna share their stuff you know but I can give you examples show you different stuff and stuff I really want to show you I can just blur out but everything's honestly all about SEO so promoting a new website um, honestly it's about freaking say it with your signature um, focus on quality let's see what they're saying about uh, 
Um, say it with your signature, your email signature. Gotcha. So that's just stemming off the outreach marketing with email, blah, blah, blah. Um, say it with your signature. Okay. And focus on quality. Guess what? Uh, focus on quality what? Content on your website that's what i'm talking about here putting text on your website is to win the game they're not in here like you have to link build link build link build link build, link build guess what you're link building to content you have to have the content there's no way around it that's how i beat out a gang of seoers in phoenix our client there's a sometimes we feel unbeatable i don't want to seem egotistical uh, that's why i said feel sometimes we feel unbeatable because almost everything that we go for we get it no one's going in depth as the content we are no one's ranking nationally like we we have local clients who end up calling us and they're like oh my god like somebody called us from freaking washington we're in phoenix arizona you know and they call us for washington for our range hoods or for our custom ac hoses you know we have an auto person that does custom ac hoses and people from other places are now finding them because of their cost posts guess what those cost posts kill if you take nothing from this video but cost posts and cost posts i'm meaning just saying how much the thing that you sell costs and it doesn't have to be from your mouth like you, you're not going to say oh well it costs i charge no no no. Yeah, on here i have nothing about my cost uh where's my cost it's not there that's because my costs are like in my website on actual pages where they're meant to be. This is just literally to give people the overall cost of SEO so they can know what to expect to pay. And not only that, but now they found an SEO company, Eric, the SEO guy who has shared this post, put all this together. They're guaranteed going to check these guys, check these guys and see the pages they put together and see that they nowhere near spent the time to make sure they're showing these graphs to make the content easily readable. They're matching the intent of the user, but they're not providing the full in-depth experience. Could I do more with this post? Absolutely. I, it hasn't been out honestly that long at all, a month and three weeks, like I said, and I'm going to keep coming back revisiting it but a lot of time i spend on my own clients so i don't get as much to spend on my own stuff but i've been trying to focus on a little more lately because this can help people as well you know so i'd love to help i love to help people even for free you know if you want to hire me to do stuff too it's all good you know but honestly this stuff can help someone and seo no doubt if you're trying to promote a brand new website seo is the way to go i promise you um if you want to start learning how to do it how to start doing SEO, literally. But your main things that you're gonna have to be worried about is, you know, getting, make sure that your your environment is SEO. I know Wix.com is getting a little better with stuff like that. I think some of the e-commerce product stores are getting a little better with SEO as well, but they allow for less um, optimization. But basically, you just want to choose choose the right keyword. You can do that by using this keywords everywhere plugin. They do charge now, but dude, it's like cents. So. Choose a good website builder, WordPress. True is a strong keyword. Like I said, you can go to Ahrefs or a place like this. This does cost per month though. This costs us like $200 a month. So I ain't gonna lie and act like this is, you know, a great place to check it. But if anything, use your, you know, keywords everywhere or use Google AdWords Keywords Planner. That's a free one. It's a little tougher to use, but it's free. All you need is a Gmail account to be able to use it. So, um, but, uh, write strong content on all your core pages basically strong content that's where most people get confused they'll be like wait what do i write about well okay think about this what's your product or service okay what problems um uh, i know someone's asking the cost like say um okay say it's a roof a roof repair you need your roof repaired roofing repair cost type that in until you get this to start showing numbers look we hit it on the first one 30 that's not a ton but look roof shingle repair cost boom we already found another one that's freaking like 10 times the amount of searches 1262 per month and if you can simply answer that question how much does roof shingle repair cost that's really what they're reporting here google's just chopping out that how much does but they know that's the that's the beginning of a question you know and then so people who answer that question and look you can even how much does it cost for a repair or a roof shingle google knows what you're talking about so they're going to line it up with cost of a roof repair cost of ass a shingle roof repair see they're getting specific with these pages you know and then i think the more specific you get the better some will you can take just with general posts that aren't really about shingle and then other you might actually need the one that boom look home advisor home advisor does their homework 
If you do any home service industry stuff and you're ever thinking about cost posts, type in whatever product or service you do and type in cost and tell me you don't see Home Advisor there. I bet you, you will. Because I have copied so much of their content and rewrote it to be unique and took so many of their rankings. I promise you, <laughs> they know what they're doing. And I even sourced them with their own information. I've beaten out Home Advisor with their own information. Rewritten their guide to be a little bit better, a little bit better of a format because a lot of times they're showing tables and stuff that's hard for Google to index. And I think they're just not focused on that. They have a complete other focus. You know, they're trying to get people to pay them um, per year to show up, but they're trying to show up naturally so people will pay them to be on their site so it makes sense why they're doing SEO they need to bring in traffic to get leads to be able to say hey if you join us we can just give you leads you know they can get leads trust me they're here all day and this is I'm pulling off the same really the same strategy home advisor and Yelp now is starting to do Yelp is actually starting to create content that scares me a little bit because content is actually or uh, Yelp they will show up for almost everything if you're typing in like AC repair near me Guess what? Yelp's going to be like number one organic result with top 10 AC repairmen near you. Or look, a reviews thing, a home, home advisor. Point proven. Thank you. But Yelp, top 10 best air conditioning repair in Phoenix AZ. There it is. Almost called it exactly because Google knows these people are basically looking for AC repair companies. That's the intent of them. That's why they're showing these Google guaranteed people. You can call one of these and get your air conditioner repaired. Here's the ads for it. Here's the actual business listings for it. This is most likely where most people are going to go first. If you show up in that number one spot and look, this guy gets 50 reviews. Doesn't surprise me. He comes up over the guy with two, you know, people want to know that they're going to have a good experience. Even this guy with five stars and two, he needs more reviews to really seem legit. Otherwise, that guy with 50 reviews is going to get the calls every single time just by sheer number. People know they can trust it. If it's happened 50 times, great. Or it's happened two times, great. They'll be like, am I going to be the third? That's going to be bad? You don't know. Get your reviews up. I'm telling you. That's one way to increase your product sales for sure is get those reviews up. Um, but yeah, look, they're just showing lists. This is just a list of companies, you know? So... Google knows what to line up here and a lot of times the content is going to be what backs that up you know and the other things people are ring, you know trying to look up is AC repair cost they want to know how much that crap's going to cost because it's freaking expensive look 3249 tell me this is an important topic to focus on people are paying $32.49 to show up for how much it cost so and you're thinking like what that's just to show up for that what about if just to show up for ac repair like say ac repair phoenix watch this be mind blown real quick okay i do seo for this term so i know cpc 8741 are you kidding me 87 for one click if i click this guy's thing right here it's going to charge him 87 dollars I'm not doing it, y'all. That would be horrible. I'd have no integrity whatsoever. And that's just a horrible thing to do to a business. Um, but there are people who will do that. It, but it costs to show up here. If you click that on accident or something like that, then people get charged like $87, y'all. So be careful online. Everything you click costs money. You just don't know it because you don't have this little keyword thing. Like this is what your search results will look like. Boop. Turn that guy off. Ting. Nothing. You have no idea what's that being paid for that. If you click this bad boy, $87 without you even knowing. Whew. I, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't have the AC thing knowing I'm charging $88 a click. That's just insane. But they know they're going to make their money back. To put in a new AC system or get any kind of AC repair, honestly, it, it's a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? You know, like that's no punk stuff. And uh, we do do uh, SEO for this. I'm not going to show you my client, but he's definitely ranking for this and getting clicks for that. So he is not having to pay for that. And uh, as well as a couple different terms over here as well, especially this guy. This was actually one of the first ones we took the rank for. And I was like, are you kidding me for an $82 keyword? But uh, it happens, brother. Look at all these. Just look at all these numbers. Look, 61, 36, 43, 85, 51. AC repair in Phoenix is insane with how much they charge but cost per click. So honestly, and the, the competition, it's pretty fierce too for the content wise. People are making big, long posts. But guess how we killed the game? Oh, wait. That's been the biggest thing I talked about the entire time, this whole video. Cost posts. We simply answered the question, how much does AC repair cost? But there's so many different things involved in it. It was like, how much does AC compressor repair cost? How much does um, cost to refill it with refrigerant? 
you know so it's like people are coming from all different ways searching for this and here let me turn this off because this charges me every time i refresh this page all right so ac repair cost and look people are also searching um ac repair cost car hvac repair cost per hour home ac service cost air conditioner coil leak repair cost there's all kinds of different more problems just like this and as long as you put together a post that kind of look AC evaporator coil replacement cost. They put one together just for that because they know good and well it's in their best interest to do that because Google's going to rank a specific post. The more specific, the better. I've actually gotten trouble before. Ah, I just saw my client. I feel so good. Um, I've actually gotten uh, in trouble before by having two. I thought, no, I'm going to separate everything into individual pages. And no, 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 no. You don't start like that. You drop everything in one post first. And then you go about creating your secondary pages because some of those you're like, so like they say there's eight keywords you're going after in there. Coil leak, refrigerant, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You might take for four of those and then it'll be like, you're spot 11. And if you're a spot, don't even create another page. They're probably going to move you up. Remember what I said about page authority? If your page authority is zero, you're going to start off low in six months. That's probably going to be number one. If you start off at 11 for AC repair costs, bruh. I promise you, you're going to be number one eventually because that's a great place to start. Starting around page two or three is pretty much the average place that I most of the time see after I drop a uh, new post. But drop that main big boy banger post first. That's what I call it, the banger post. And uh, then you're going to create your individual post to really break these down into individuals. You know, And you're going to be able to get... Um, traffic from not only your main guy, which gets a ton of different traffic. And I've noticed that Google's off with some of their numbers. Some of this stuff isn't enough. It's growing and they just haven't reported the new results yet. I think they're actually like a year back or something like that. But uh, a lot of times I see more results coming through than they tell you in this little area when I have this keywords plugin on. Um, but creating those individual posts will get you even more traffic. So honestly, having a website full of blog posts that answer specific questions like how much will it cost to fix my air conditioner how much does it cost to service an ac unit those are two different things fixing an air conditioning and servicing it is two different service and maintenance is kind of like uh, make sure my ducts are clean make sure that it has the refrigerant and is everything up to par before i go into this hot summer time you know and boom how much does it cost to replace an ac motor and it, that's a totally different thing. Like you wouldn't even know your AC motor was bad unless you called an AC repair person. You're like, no one just knows that off. Oh, my AC motor went out. I heard that sound. And I just know that because I'm a homeowner that, yeah, right. You, you don't know that. You wouldn't even know that to you. And then uh, you get that guy that tells you need your AC motor replaced. And you'd be like, what? How much does it cost to replace something like that? You know, and then you look it up and you'd be like, Jesus Christ, how am I going to? freaking, you know, like, <laughs> how am I going to afford that, you know, or whatever it is. But either way, you're putting that content out there. So some, so Google will put you there. How much does it cost to replace an AC fan motor? Boom. This guy just came in, dropped the joint, made sure that he's replacing an AC fans motor is from this to this. Having a range is great. Having an average and a range is even better. That's how I've beaten out Home Advisor so many times because I'll come up with one number instead of like 450 to 650. Guess what's the average of that? 550. Why can't you just, the average is 550. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a good solid in between number with prices ranging from um, 450 to 650. So not only have I used the cost word, I used price as well. And I provided a one number and a range and called that actual name out in the beginning of that paragraph and made the title of my post exactly matching what the actual question was. Honestly, just that alone will kill the game sometimes, but actually having some kind of image that represents that those totals as well, Google freaking loves that, or like graphs. Google loves graphs, but I'll see people ranking without them, but a lot of times I'll take these people rank it's with some kind of graph, man. It's insane. I don't know. Google just loves graphs so much. like for. But it makes sense because it's an accurate representation. It gives you the, what you can expect like right away and like kind of a visual aspect. Like if say if I did that AC repair cost, okay? Boom, graph, graph, graph. You know what I'm saying? Like they want graphs. They, they know what they're doing. That's why they're ranking graphs, you know? Look, another one. 
Look, I actually, that's perfect. Yes, this is mine. So I can actually talk about this. So I've started taking some of these things and I'm going to start actually making these cost posts on my own website. So that's perfect that I actually have this because look, I'm in here. I just dropped this not too long ago. How old is this post? Let's see. I don't think this is old at all. Like this couldn't be, uh, where's the date on this bad boy? Um, here, let's do it like this. AC repair costs, Eric, the SEO guy. I like seeing my picture. It was almost there towards the top. Okay, here we go. When was it? September 19, 2019, less than one month ago. And look, my, my image is already showing in that image section. I bet you we could go down here and find my post too. I don't think it's very high though. Like I said, it's been three weeks. I need six months for this really to get, get way up there. But honestly, to be here already, uh, I love it. Look, day and night air. They're same thing. Literally. Oh, this is so awesome. The result I was just showing you from day and night air um, that answered this question specifically. Let me go back to it just so I can prove it to you. You probably already forgot. You weren't focused on that like I was. <laughs> it's all good. All right. So here we go. All right, so we popped one of these down. Ah, oh, and Google did a different one. Let me place that one. Uh, but it's all good. But uh, day and night air was there, and I just realized my uh, my ranking for my picture was actually beating out their uh, image they had with their whole little kind of infographic. This is the infographic they had on that page I was just showing you about how to read. Yep, that was the bottom of it. So that was literally an image they had. That wasn't even content. I thought that was content on the website. That was an image they had. How clever. But um, look, it didn't beat out my graph though. My little baby graph beat out their whole freaking blown out infographic. But it's because this is something important. This shows averages of something. That's what the number one rankings are. Matter of fact, whatever you're trying to rank for, search the images and see. You'll kind of get an idea of what the intent of that person was. Plumbing repair cost. You know, okay, this one's showing actual people doing an actual plumbing repair. Then a graph. But honestly, there's not as many graphs here, so I bet you if someone was to create a nice big graph that clearly these these never work. Manta.com, they always have these. Honestly, I beat these out so easily. That it just it's not a nice graph. It doesn't really it's hard to read. You have to kind of like, what? You have to look here. It's really small there. On my post, they're like retarded large. You know, like it's pretty unmistakable. Like you can see that on a phone. Like you can see that from here. It's easy to see the costs. You know, look, can't see those, can't see those, can't see. Oh, you can see that? Um, can't see that, can't see that, can't see that. Boom. You know, the two only legible ones on the actual page. And don't pause and go back, but I created that other one too. And one of the other ones that's in that top section. The very top section. I can't, I'm not going to call the client out though, but don't click it and then, you know, call my client and be like, hey bro. Was, but no, that was, uh, I was on, I was about like five or six of those spots in there. <laughs> I'll let you, boy, for my own sites and my client site, you know, but uh, honestly, SEO, so effective, will get you so much traffic coming through to your website. Um Honestly, that's how I've soared uh, one of my personal projects. Uh, me and my one of my best friends, um, we are you know, going on a solar company together. I do all the marketing for this bad boy. This is your boy right there. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Oh, let me not let, let you know it's real. Sunglasses, baby. Let's go. <laughs> all right, but me and my boy do this solar company together. This one's seasonal, so don't drag me. Drag, uh, don't judge me on the drop. That's the one you saw in here too that looked like the, the site's on its way down or whatever. But trust me, this is not down. Um, it's just seasonal. You know what I'm saying? But as far as our rankings haven't dropped whatsoever. But this is seasonal. So things like um, heating and cooling in garage workshop, um, garage cooling that works. People aren't trying to cool their garage in the winter time. So it makes sense why this would go down. Um, people aren't searching how much do solar panels cost in Arizona, which we've got 45 clicks for because it's starting to get hot you know so there's just different stuff that they're not going to be typing in solar panels cost arizona look at that cost what do you know solar panels arizona cost people's find us for that and click us for that bad boy but this gets us ton of different traffic for all kind of different topics uh, this is one of my personal projects. look the traffic value alone is 1.4 thousand dollars worth of traffic per month you know so google knows that if we paid 
PPC to show up for these terms, we'd have to pay basically almost $1,500 a month to be able to show up for that. And you see this traffic kind of goes up and down because it is seasonal. So when it's cold, we ain't getting hit. But you see when it's, when it's going, it's going. You know, we're trying to get a little better as time goes on. We hit one of our peaks. This was kind of a, a random time. I don't even know how that happened, but here's our regular kind of traffic. And, you know, this is like, you know, amount of traffic we got on that day in September. You know, it's freaking good amount of traffic. This is just showing you our traffic value as far as what's going on. How are we looking on this little spike right here? How's this little spike look? Whew, we jumped just over three G's worth of PPC clicks then. And I believe that because people are typing in things like, you know, how much do solar panels cost? Solar panel cost in Arizona and guaranteed people are showing up for that and paying to be there. Look, cost per click. How much do solar panels cost in Arizona? What's our position? Number one. Oh, uh, uh, as me and my boy would say, how much do solar panels cost in Arizona? Boom! Not only that, we are the featured result. And look what I was saying earlier. According to a totally other person, their exact answer, I literally took their featured result from Energy Sage. That's who ranked for this. I took it straight out of this featured result, sourced their content, put quotes around it, even linked to their page. Because you would think, oh, if you link to them, that'll just give them power. Mm -mm. I learned that one time when some person linked to me and they took my ranking, I was like, because he had the content now and the link to the site with a whole bunch of stuff, I was like, Oh my God. Oh my God. It blew my mind. Like I had to like, it doesn't feel right for like two weeks after that. I was like, what did I just, what did I just learn? You know, but I learned that link to other people, link to a bunch of other people. Don't be dumb with it, but do it right. Look, according to NRC Sage, as of 2018, the average cost of solar panels in the state of Arizona is 267 per watt. Since the average system size in the U.S. is six kilowatts, the average cost of solar panels in AZ is about 16,020 before any federal local incentives. Perfect amount of answer. Count those words right there. See how many characters are in there. The, the better you line this up to be able to fit in this box, the better off you're going to be, you know, because Google wants the good, good answer and one that can kind of fit like this. And guess what the next question is? Do solar panels increase home value in Arizona? Guess who got the featured in here too? Oh, uh, what happened to other people? They not rank over me. But dude, like literally, that's the way you want to do it. Is solar worth it in Arizona? Like that's how you even find questions that are related to your original keyword. And guess what? I'm focused on that too. Any way you come from this, I am focused on this and will create an exact guide or some kind of page that answers that question because this is questions people want to know. And if you know the answer to that and you could simply answer it in a blog post, people will find your website. Google ranks everything by location, especially if it's local stuff. Like if you're a local business, SEO is absolutely mind-blowingly incredible. I could show you hundreds of sites right now that I've done this on for local SEO. We're actually getting national rankings for action at answering local questions, you know, because Google's like, hey, they have the resources and everything on here. We're taking for other places that this content is in for, but it's because Google is starving for those answers. They need answers. They need to fill those gaps. And if you can fill those gaps, some of them, Google will just give them to you just like that. Some niches, I'm like, oh my God, do I need to switch my focus and focus only on this niche? Because this happened so easily and so much came from it that if I was to focus completely on this, make blog posts about this, you know, put some kind of AdSense on this blog, I could literally be able to make money off just this blog. But I have so many ideas like that, it's ridiculous. I never have time to work on everything that I have ideas from, and I run across these like 10 times a day. So a lot of times, you know, if I find it and I go on it, and if I don't, I don't, you know. But if it's stuff like this, this is an investment in my, you know, I basically am a kind of 10% owner in this company. So anything that happens with it is going to happen to me. So I'm definitely focused on it, definitely trying to get that content out there, definitely trying to hit the questions and stuff people are worried about. But people are typing this all the time. People are paying money to show up for this stuff and we're not. We're showing up there naturally, you know? So that's the way to do it. If you want to promote a new website, content's the way to go. If you want somewhere to focus specifically, cost. Cost, cost, cost. Look, I bet you everyone that has a cost with it is going to have a, a cost per click behind it as well. Look, $4, $4, $13, $4.50, $4.50, $4.50. That's where, I mean, literally, boom, look, 20 bucks. People pay $20 to show up for cost of solar panels in AZ. 
And guess what? That same post, remember, you can type in any keyword and Google will still kind of relate it to the same thing. So Energy Sage, look, there's that answer. There's that answer. That answer that I took. And according to Energy Sage, look, here's Google showing that. That's how I knew to use that answer. I just grabbed it and was like, according to Energy Sage, this answer. But look, Google still knows. Look, we're number three organically. You know, so they still know, line this up. And people are clicking this and we will get... That's a twenty dollars. Somebody clicks this organically. That's like basically like, dang near like they paid twenty dollars to be able to you know like we paid twenty dollars to show up for that, but we didn't. We're just there. We're just there now, and this will keep being there, you know. And people will keep clicking it, and we'll keep getting kind of our money's worth out of it, you know. But everything's like that, you know. But cost. If you can focus on cost, that's the way to go. People are typing in cost the most, man. I mean, look, they're, they're, they're searching this, how to cool a garage with no windows, but look, they're looking for fans, this and that. This is a money post. People want to know how much this product or service costs in your area, and once they find it on your blog, they're most likely going to hire you. And if you want to promote a new website, a new business, SEO is the absolute way to do it, and what better to then be the authority and answer all the users' hurts, worries. You have no idea how many compliments we get from answering questions on this site. Like, I typed in... Um, hot water coming from cold tap in summer. And you guys had a post on there about how basically Arizona has, you know, plastic pipes that they put in your ce in, in your actual ceiling and that's where the water runs through. Your water can end up getting warm up and all you need to do is to put some kind of radiant barrier around those pipes. It will cool them down and you'll have cool water again. But the person would have never known how to fix that had they not found our post or they would have found somebody else's post and maybe they would have called them for the expertise because this person was trapped. They were like, I don't know what to do. My water's just hot. I called a plumber and the plumber doesn't know what to do. It just happened to be my guy's an energy guy. He's an energy efficiency guy. He spends a lot of time in homeowners attics and he also sells this awesome radiant barrier product which can protect your garage, your attic, um, the interior of your walls, like all these different applications. And not only that, but wrapped around your water pipes, wrapped around your AC ducts to keep them cool because people don't know that your AC ducts heat up in Arizona which actually make your AC less efficient. Cover those ducts with some kind of radiant barrier, keeps the heat out, makes your energy run more efficiently it's almost the same as duct sealing so it makes total sense that you know he's using energy efficiency you know to solve these people's problems but we have those blog posts that help those people find us for him to fix the problem without that he might not have got found you know so honestly seo can absolutely change the game i started this for my own business my musicbeats.net um, honestly, I did not want to get out there and have to put all my music out there and have to have everybody, um, I'd stand on the corner and be like, Hey, you want to try my beats out or you want to do my mixtape or go to all these shows, you know, or try to like go to clubs and like talk to people when it's super loud. You can never do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like do SEO to get these people to come naturally. And that's what my initial introduction was just trying to get traffic to come to my website. And I realized that this could help so many other people. And I was like, oh my God, these skills translate to other stuff. Like this was a, just a random occurrence with some big stuff that happened. But uh, still, the traffic per month on this bad boy is still at, you know, 5,500 per month. Honestly, I haven't touched this site in so long. Look at the traffic value for a little bit, 27. <laughs> I actually haven't touched this site in a good amount of time. No, look, you can see I haven't touched it in a while just because I knew this SEO stuff was going to be a little bit more profitable right now. And it's actually a better strategy for me because I'm able to take this SEO money and put it back on actual features that will get me further than this traffic actually can. Because with all that traffic there and this PPC being that much, it's actually not as profitable as you would think as far as PPC coming back. It doesn't come back. You know, it's like cents per click and not everyone's going to click but yeah, I had to learn it but it was great that I did because I was able to pull off some stuff like this and learn that I was so capable and then once I learned about doing this for businesses I was like oh my god brother this can help people and not only that you need a company you need to start doing this on a regular basis because you can really help people and SEO is a profitable business to be in because you're literally helping people ROI much more than your bill is so it's almost like you're gonna stay there forever as long as this person does business you know, right, and they're going to stay in that business, you can absolutely help them. This mostly helps for people who have actually been in business for a little bit, but people who do it new too. But a lot of people new into it, they're like, 
it's such a fresh idea, they might not stay in that. They might be in personal training, but they switch to something else. They may be a hairstylist that they eventually just work at a restaurant. You know, some business isn't for everyone. So some people will start out doing it, some people won't. But I've noticed the people who do the best at it is people who are already slightly winning. They already have a little bit of clientele going on and they can kind of foot the bill for a couple months so they can let the SEO begin to kick in. And then once it starts to kick in, oh, the leads start pouring in. They're like, hey, can we make this happen even more? upgrade a little bit and then it just kind of their ROI just mm, 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 just keeps expanding because you keep paying this same one bill and you keep getting more clients especially if you're a pool service person well you'd have another account another account another account another say you got 15 accounts that month you can still get 15 more next month and it's still that same one 450 per month or whatever you were paying you know you're not paying for ads to show up every single click you know so organic SEO is absolute the way to go you can avoid having to run a gang of ads you know that are irrelevant or they're charging you more because you don't have the content that really answers that question on your website so honestly doing this will make you pay less for your ads if you do run them as well as bring you just natural traffic you know so when people are typing exactly like I want to show up for inspirational beats so when people type in inspirational hip-hop instrumentals instrumental beats they will find my stuff there and they're going to my stuff they're gonna download my beats and use it for their projects you know I, I don't want to use anything but you know inspirational motivational that kind of stuff but that's just my preference you know if somebody else was doing something else I would be like hey put hardcore you know gangster beats on there you know but that's not the kind of crowd I'm going for you know but uh What's it called? Uh, but SEO, SEO is absolute way to go. I'm glad Wix did put this guy together because it kind of really helped back up my points, which is SEO is really the only way to go. You can do email marketing, all that, especially if you're in a product selling business, email marketing is absolutely crucial. But guess how you're going to get people to sign up for your email marketing thing? Guess what you need? Website traffic. Guess where that comes from? SEO. Exactly. There's no way around SEO. You got to do it. There's no way around content. I learned that a long time ago. Just put the content together and just let the people come. If you build it, they will come. So true. And it works in more ways than one. You know, like it works for content as well. Build the content and they will come. And if you don't know what content you build, that's why you hire somebody like me. But you can at least take these tips. I'm telling you, cost, post, cost, post, cost, post. If you literally can't go download keywords everywhere, type in your product with cost on it. It's the one that relates to me, or <laughs> this one completely relates to me. SEO cost. And look, let me turn on my keywords everywhere because I can't see that yet. It's on. Ding. 1,900 searches per month, $8.91 cents a click. And guess how you figure out what kind of content to write? Go to the first result in the engine. This is what Google deems the best. Let's see what they got. Look, a nice little answer that's kind of that size of that feature result section interesting I wonder why they made it those specific amount of characters <laughs> to take the feature result so here we go nice little heading Boop. and look oh they have a nice little breakdown of everything here I didn't do this though because uh, I think that's just that's too much you know but look they're in there going on what is it called? oh they even did a video smart um, boom another form of content I got keywords blah 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 what is it they're going on all kind of topics here you know, and then they're also probably putting the cost in here, cost between this and that. Look, they did an image for it. What do you know? I don't think this image would rank that great, though. It's too long. You want your images to be the kind of width of um, the section up here. Let's see. Square. Ah, this one. I'm actually surprised at length. Let's see if we can find their image. Rank page. Nope. Uh, WebFX. There we go. What image did they rank? And look, they put a little box around it because it's hard for them to show that like Google that you you want a squared like a squared like image a rectangle like image those are the images Google likes the most you know they want to be able to naturally throw it in these sections they have set up you know and give people a nice easy user experience you know boom 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 these nice fit nicely if you had this little skinny one there and it was taken up it just look weird that's why they added the top and bottom to that that's not actually in that guy's picture see so you want to make, just give Google what they want. Don't make Google fight to put your stuff there. The more you're going to make Google fight, the more they're not going to rank you. And they're like, mm, never mind. That's why they like those easy layouts because it's their, their rank brain is it's a computer. It's like, oh, this exactly lined up, heading, 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 heading. It said ways that matches up and my rank brain ways is the answer to how to. Boop, 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 boop. They had 10. The other people had five. These people had 12, but they were out of order and, the, and they didn't use their headings correctly. Boom, they're going to use the person who used the headings correctly. H1, H2, 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 H2. 
You know, those are the mother. If you're gonna have a list of something, that's exactly how you want it. You know, so if you want to know what's the best content to produce, guess what? Find the number one result, replicate it, and make it better. You know, like even my guide. My guide's not better than this yet, but it's getting close, and I'm gonna eventually be there, and I will beat out this guy, and I'll have less of that crap going on that he had going. He had so much. Like all this stuff, um, they didn't ask that. They didn't ask what does SEO include, you know, but he's saying key SEO factors. So this is kind of what you're paying for, but people didn't come here to find that. I guarantee you I will beat this guy out because he's just going too far. Like, like, bro, just answer the question. Just call us, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need all this extra information and there's so much going on. How do you know? Like if I just scrolled through, like, where's a place where I can just easily see, is that it? Oh, here we go. Baby small. The most important thing that people came to find, and it's baby small. Target the user's intent. Give them that, like, right away. I know you've set it up here, but pull that, that table right here. Pull that, then make that the next thing in line so you can see, bam, 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 you know, and have that right there. But, uh, yeah, if you need to know the topic, go to the number one result. You know, like, don't be scared to source somebody's stuff. Like, guaranteed, I sourced a couple people's stuff in my article. And I'm an SEO guy. I've seen thousands and thousands and thousands of pages. But guess what? I know good and well. Do some according to's. According to blah, 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 you can, here's their answer. According to Search Engine Journal. According to Rank Pay. According to WebFX. Look at this. Does that look familiar? That was what we was just reading on their site. <laughs> So pull it straight up and I have enough unique content here that I can still use their answers without getting in trouble by Google or Google deeming my content not worthy. If anything, they view my content very effective because I've sourced all the top SEO sites in the nation and I'm not scared to like send somebody to one of these sites. That's what everybody's always scared of. They're like, you're going to send someone to somebody else's site? I'm shocked. Guess what? They would have never found your post had we not put that source there. So... If you want to be serious, the traffic comes from putting that there. And yes, some people might go ahead and go there. They might hire those people. But guess what? I'm willing to take that opportunity in hopes that a gang of people are going to find my article first because I sourced their stuff. I ranked over them. Just imagine that. They found them number two or three in the thing. And just because I'm sourcing them, you think they're going to go to them? No, they're going to go to me. They're going to go to the number one authority person. Just like if you make these cost posts for yourself, you're the number one person showing up. People just automatically assume you're the best one. You showed up naturally on Google. People don't just like go around doing that every day. So when you tell someone that or they find it naturally, they're very impressed by it. Like whenever someone finds this cost post that's eventually going to rank number one, I guarantee that one of the first things they're going to say is, I found your cost post online. It was super thorough. I liked how you had created all those images. Yours was super easy to read. Um, that's why I called you and you were one guy that I could talk to. You looked friendly. Um, this one, who are these people? Who's WebFX? Um, I don't see a face. I don't see like anything. Like who are these people? Oh, here's a guy. Okay, boom. There we go. That's probably one of the guys, you know, but boom, like there's a lot going on here and I guess we could go to an about, there we go. I finally found it. There we go. Is somebody going to look? Okay, is that people? Is that just a crowd or is that their company? Okay, there we go. I guess that's their team. Hell yeah, that's awesome. They got a big old, big old team. Who are you dealing with though? Am I dealing with Nick? Dylan, Chris, Paul, Matt, Scott, Jill, April? I, I don't know any of those people. I'm just naming out random names. But uh, <laughs> they know who they're dealing with. Boom, Eric the SEO guy. Holla at me. And guess what? I have a team behind me that will make this happen for me as well. You know, I have a 21-year-old um, web company that I do business with on a regular basis, webtext.net. They are my go-to guys for everything. Hosting online. They have unlimited fiber wire, super ultra fast hosting, and they're not charging re crazy amounts of money like GoDaddy might for their business hosting packages. But honestly, conclusion of this video... Cost posts are absolutely important. SEO, okay, I'm sorry. SEO is absolutely important to promote your website and it's the number one way to promote your website, I believe, for the cheapest cost and not paying for every single click. And it has the most um, ROI. Best way to promote your website. SEO uh, costs are the best content to make an actual blog post about. Um, Having those blog posts pointing back to your actual pages where your products or services are listed is great. I always do that with some kind of outro at the end. Um, free SEO consultations in Phoenix, Arizona. So if anything, this could also end up lining up to where like, 
how much does SEO cost in Phoenix? You know, let's see if that post actually shows up for that. <gasps> what do you know? Eric the SEO guy number one. And look, it shows no one's searching that. And that might be true. I don't know. But look, this is just showing you that not only will your stuff rank for that, but if it, it'll search, rank for your local stuff as well. Because look, I've mentioned Phoenix in there. Um, down right here at the bottom, Phoenix, Tempe, Scottsdale, Mesa. Let's try that. Here, let's list the next one online. Look, you can even see Tempe right there. Let's see if Google can relate these together. Just from me mentioning that one little bit, what do you know? Featured result. <laughs> Kidding me? And then they're not even pulling out the Tempe thing. They just know I said Tempe on here. And look, here, let's do the same thing for Mesa. Oops. Costa Mesa. Oh, yeah, Costa Mesa. That is a place. So they're, they're confused right now because they think I'm talking about Costa Mesa. So let's talk about Mesa AZ. Okay, not this much, much, but you've seen they pulled it out. They know what they're doing. So honestly, this works in multiple ways. So people could be able to type in that kind of stuff and still find this post in their local area. So cost post, the absolute way to go. SEO, the absolute way to go. Doing it on a WordPress site, absolute way to go. But honestly, you could do it on anything. I've done this on Blogger, you know, and freaking that's Google's free blog. And you can literally go ham on that bad boy. It's just not as clean, you know, and as I got a little bit better with design, I just didn't want kind of a really just bland website, especially as far as blog posts go. But um, yeah, guys, honestly, SEO, baby, do it. You know, and if you can't do it, holla at me because I've done so many of these cost posts. It's ridiculous. I could sell you thousands of these. We, we've done them. I've taught my team to do it. I've taught my team. I've got my guys. Um, the other day, I had my guy do one in an hour and 34 minutes. We literally was able to get on there, do, do exactly what I instructed them to do, add the content in this very exact way. And it was baby like a 300 word post, very small feature, instant featured result. You know, so this is even teachable. You know, if you guys need consultant help, um, something to know what to focus on, like hire me for an hour of my time. I'll make you a good rate, you know, and we can find some good terms for you to focus on. I'll tell you what to write and you can do that part yourself. Post it on your blog yourself. Or if you need me to do it, we can, you know, charge some hourly rate or something we need to do to make it happen. But uh, in either case, guys, WordPress, SEO, SEO costs, um, use the number one result rewrite that bad boy to you be unique if you need to check it to make sure it's unique enough plagiarism checker i use this all the time just to make sure you ain't completely biting somebody's stuff your plagiarism can uh, line up a little bit but just don't make sure it's your whole article you want to uh, get most of your information rewrite it to be unique and you can do some quotes here or there but you know definitely make sure it's not full-blown plagiarism you want to be 70 percent free of plagiarism you could probably have 30 percent still get away with it google will rank you no problem you can even see on that other um, example I showed you, according to, and I use their exact phrase, literally, I use duplicate content and they featured it. So that shows you good and well. Duplicate content used in the correct way, you know, can be great. You're citing a source, you're providing more information, you're providing depth, you're providing trust. That, that helps Google know that they're giving the person the exact right thing, you know. But uh, yeah, just want to make this video just to reinforce that. You know, I saw this post and I was just like, I got, I got to make this, you know, and this would help a ton of people out. So definitely, uh, I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear what you think about this video. I'd love to hear what you think about those cost posts. Honestly, I had no idea that was even a thing until I started doing this. And then honestly, probably year two is when I ran into the cost thing. And it was like, oh my God, it's changed the game ever since. It's changed my life. Cost posts have changed my life. <laughs> I can literally say that. Thank you, Jesus, for cost posts. But uh, yeah, guys, I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for sticking around. Definitely know what you think on the video. Like, comment, share. Help this message get out there. Help other people. I gave away a bunch of free tips in here. So I'm not in here just trying to get your money. I'm trying to share value. Give y'all what y'all need to succeed. And if you need my help, I'm here for you as well, man. I've been doing this for 10 years now. I've been doing it for almost six years at a professional company for about uh, over 100 different SEO clients. I've built the processes at the company I'm at and have multiple different guys that we can lean on to be able to make any kind of project happen from web design, hosting, SEO, social media management, whatever it is you need, guys. We can probably help with or send you to somebody that will. But uh, much love to y'all. I appreciate y'all coming, watching my video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Until then, peace out.